Good morning. Well, it's Easter Saturday and I'm standing in the churchyard of St Britius Church Bryce Norton, 14 miles west of Oxford, where I'm one of the ministry team, reflecting on the events of Holy Week that have just passed and of Good Friday, which we remembered yesterday. A horrific, shocking story up to this point of a man who admitted to being the Messiah, but then immediately said he had to die in Jerusalem, that he was going to be rejected and scourged and whipped and mocked and then put to death. And his disciples reeling from one shock to the next. They thought this was the man who was going to lead them into the future and be the leader of the new, uh, the new Israel, the new community. And suddenly he was there dying on a cross yesterday and then dead after six hours. He'd been on the cross from about nine in the morning to three in the afternoon, carried away by two men, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, to a new tomb where he'd been laid because today is the Sabbath, uh, a holy day when no one is allowed to work. And I find myself in St. Brittus's graveyard reflecting on that, a graveyard which in some ways reminds me of the Garden of Gethsemane. We have yew, yew trees here. The Garden of Gethsemane obviously had olive trees. Gethsemane means the olive press. And uh, I'm just wondering how everybody felt. They felt totally devastated, totally overwhelmed by grief, wondering whether it was all over. Now, in hindsight, we already know what happened on the next day, but I'm not going to mention what happens on the next day. I'm going to ask us to dwell a moment on what people were feeling and thinking on this day. We invite you to join the seventh day of the pilgrimage, which is being led by Padre Kate Bruce, the Padre of RAF Bryce Norton, or one of the Padres. And you'll find those reflections uh, on our website. That's either Friends of St. Britius, Bryce Norton, Friends of St. Britius, or St. John's Church, Carterton. You'll find that either on the website or on the Facebook page. And uh, I want to just sing one song today, which uh, was published in 1899. They were, they were called Old Plantation Hymns. And this song for me symbolizes and summarizes the feelings of people on that day. And I'm going to deliberately stop in silence at the end and not sing the final verse, because I want us to meditate on today before the tremendous surprise of tomorrow. This is, were you where, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in the 
to 